Hello everyone, this is Super Dimensional Bun. Today I'll be reviewing uh, Bandai's non-grade uh, Mobile Turn X from the series Turn A Gundam. This kit was released in 1999 and retails for 600 yen. So, this is a little bit of a throwback kit. Um, this series of Gundams came out right before Seed and before um, high grade kits became standard. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. So I have all the things put together, all, even the accessories. As you can see, this was painted and whatnot, but just to let you guys know, this was... And the kit came in basically just two colors, gray and a very light green color. Um, almost white, it's kind of a yeah, pale light green, let's say. Um, you know, some of you know, is a, call it a puke green Gundam. It's like Bandai stock plastic color or something. There's the signature giant backpack of the Turn X. Alright, let's go ahead and just start the articulation. So you got the head. It's connected by a polycat. Up and down a little bit. This is the same kind of polycaps that came with uh, the original non grade um, Gundam wing kits. So, and same thing with the hand here. And it's, it's a ball joint, so 360. It's a little stiff because I painted it, but. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, maybe the socket's not very uh, smooth, so I'm not going to mess with that. I don't want to rip off the paint because it's painted on a polycap, so anyway. Um, arms, you can essentially turn 360, just the backpack gets in the way. Can go out so far. Shoulders, so our only, art, only articulation is in the elbow and the shoulders. So basic 90 degrees. Same thing with the right arm. See, there's a polycap that connects these um, shoulder armors. Let's spin these around a little bit. Can't really. Well, you can sw uh, swivel them up and down a little bit. And that's it for that. Well, let's just take the backpack off. So you can take a quick look here. I mean, you can typically spin 360 and whatnot. It's connected by a polycap into a peg in the back. Show you guys the articulation. So one thing this thing ha this kit has is a, a two-part torso. So one thing is it can spin around. You know, it doesn't have the backpack on, and you can well, you kind of yeah, you can lean it a little bit left, right, forward, back, just a little bit. There's a little ball joint connected in there. Well, it has a little more, more articulation than your normal um, non-grade kit. All right, so oops, let's see here. There are ball joints for um, the hips. These ball joints are a little bigger than your um, standard Wing Gundam kits or Turn X um, kits. There's, it doesn't utilize the same ones. So just pop that back in. Feet, legs can twist a little bit. Let's go step it back a little bit. So the legs can bend back pretty far without the uh, backpack. And well, you can essentially go up pretty high. The skirt armor is really not very intrusive. All right. What else we got here? Um, knees. So it uses those polycap knees of the two, uh, where connected by two pegs, but it doesn't really utilize too well. The leg can only bend 90 degrees. Now, I don't know if this thing can kneel. Never tried it. So, 
not very well. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, so what else we got here? The toes? Well, so-called foot or toe is connected by, the, I guess the ball joints that originally were for the hips. So, some motion there, up, down. So you got some options of posing this guy. Okay, what else? Oh, yeah. And the giant feet can swivel about that far. And that's it. So the only thing that tilts is the toes. Hmm. All right. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the accessories. We have a big giant heart-shaped, kind of a heart-shaped backpack. It has a lot of detail on it. Um, you can see with all the panel lines. Nice cables. Um, it would probably be a good idea to paint them like in silver or gold or whatnot. I'll give it a little extra detail. So, you can see this backpack stores the two uh, weapons that came with the kit. It's just one polycap and two pieces you just sandwich together. Pretty simple. I made building this kit really quick. Alright, and then you got the beam rifle. Simple design. Two pieces you slap together. I mean, this is... This kit was... Well, this suit was designed by Sid Mead, American, um... I guess, uh, illustrator. Uh, responsible for designs from, uh... Blade Runner and, uh, Light Cycle and Tron. You can really see where his, uh... His influences are in here. Um, simple lines with some diagonals. He also designed design a turn egg on them, of course. And here is the bazooka. Another thing that just two pieces. Now, I originally thought that the handles were we can swivel open and close, but they do not. So, oh well. I'll just fit into one hand. Pow. And you can just store them just by sliding them onto the backpack. Let's put this back on. There, and you just pop in the beam rifle right there. Oops, I probably have it the wrong way. As if you could really tell. Anyway. So, um... Yeah, I mean... The backpack itself, you know, didn't really need to be painted. I mean, this is the colors, essentially. That the Master Grade kit has a blue backpack, which is more of a cobalt blue, if you ask me, but I chose this color instead. And um, the plastic color for the kit itself eh, it seemed a little light, so that's why I painted it. I had some spare paint, so I spray painted this guy. Um, plus, I hate seam lines, so <laughs> that was my main um, motivator for painting this thing. The only thing you really need to paint is the shoulders. Because they only came in, they came in the gray color. So, well, there you have it. Um, yeah, and, you know, it has a lot of lines. Pretty simple to paint or color or whatever. I used a micron pen for most of these lines. Um, of course, a little paint for the, the bigger blocks of areas. Um, but yeah, that cons? Well, there is one con of this kit that, that really bothered me. is that th this hand does not open up. Um, it doesn't even come with options like to take it off and have an open manipulator. So no structure, whatever it's called, I forgot. But anyway, that's the one con I have. I mean, I mean the master grade version of it, you know, this, this hand can open up, you can put a beam saber in there. It would have looked totally awesome, but uh, yeah, this hand really does not much. I mean, you can make it look like it's shooting, but uh, yeah. I mean, I have plans to, to, to modify this guy. Um, I'll cut this open, probably put a polycap somewhere in there, make some open fingers on my own, but probably sometime in the future. Not, not, not anytime soon. Uh, pros. I like this kit. So, it, it's pretty tall for a 144 scale kit. So, let's just jump right to the comparisons. Let's uh, move this guy back. So, here is your standard sized Gundam. You can see this kit is about a whole head taller. Um, 
yeah, I mean, the 600 yen, you get, you know, bigger, a pretty big kit, a pretty big downgrade kit for, for 600 yen. Simple design. Um, you know, being a downgrade, there's not a whole lot of parts, as you can see with articulation. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the best, but then again, I, I mean, I don't think you need to do like squatting poses and whatnot with this guy. So, let's take a quick look at Barbatos. So, as you can see, it's also still too small, <laughs> still bigger than that one too. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a rather cheap kit also, but uh, you can't get any cheaper than a non-grade kit. But anyway, so um, my recommendation, I mean, if you like the design, I mean, this kit, this design is not for everybody, obviously. Um, it doesn't look like your typical Gundam. It doesn't look like a typical kit, but I have to say, I mean, even though it's an American designer, um, you know, it's, it's different, you know, it's meant to be different. It's supposed to be highly futuristic. Um, what I like about this kit is that, uh, it, it does look pretty intimidating, I have to say. I mean, it has big shoulders, those big feet that look, kind of look like, remind me of Tyrannosaurus feet for some reason. Um, yeah, I mean, you can take apart the pieces and give it that pose where, like, all parts are attacking. Um, and also, I think one other big pro of this kit is that, you know, it's, it's cheap. 600 yen, you know, you don't feel so bad for messing it up. Like, you haven't spent a lot of money for something that you're eventually going to toss, but, uh, yeah, but this is something that uh, I think I would definitely keep for a while and modify it. Um, I like the lines of the kit. I mean, you know, it's not traditional. It's not symmetric. Um, and, you know, it, it has this really mean look. I mean, yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, I like the black parts of the, the painted in there, too. I mean, um, makes the arm look... I don't know. There's a lot more design to it. A lot of the detail to say, I mean. So, anyway. So I enjoyed building this kit. It, it really didn't take me very long to build it. It's just all the paint and detailing. It took a while. But, uh, you know, obviously once you have it all done, it, I think it looks fantastic. Anyway. So there you have it. Um, yeah, Turn X Gundam. So, that's not a Gundam, I'm sorry. A turn, mobile Turn X. Um, yeah, so, anyway, 600 yen, I still think it's a great bargain. Um, of course, now that I've reviewed it, Bandai's probably going to make a high-grade version of it, one with a manipulator that opens, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, but for now, you know, this is a very good kit if you love the design. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, so that's all I have to say about it. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Tune in again next time, and I'll see you then.